But there's a character um, in the book called Rusty Jake. That's name. right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> One of my good friends. <laughs> and he says, his dialogue is, what was it in our forefathers' fits, bled and died for? What did they do in the cold for without a mint julep to make and jolly or a sherry cobbler to warm their insides? Was it to have this item of human rights wiped off the slate of liberty with a sponge of tyranny? Was it to have the pardon and power struck out the Constitution? The idea is ridiculous. Why, the fact is, though it ain't generally known, that the whole revolution was on account of the pardon and power. General Washington, as his history will tell you, was put in jail for killing an slur for Native American in a <laughs> N-word riot down south. I told a crime judge George the Third refused to pardon General Washington. The revolution, gentlemen, was the consequence of that refusal. I refers you to history, gentlemen, for further particulars. So basically, can you say that in English? <laughs> What the fuck did you just say? What he's saying is that that this is our God-given constitutional right is to riot and destroy things. Uh, that's right. how the nice. nation was founded. So it is hip- hypocritical for a capitalist to now start saying, hey, this isn't kosher anymore. Um, so basically, you have – this is where sort of that, uh, that uh, formation, that transformation starts to happen between gangs – And uh, police. All right. So some of these fire companies, uh, they were all street gangs, right? And they all had ridiculous names. Yes. These are the this is what would enforce basically, you know, political power in the U.S. in urban settings in the 19th century. Mm. And there were gangs with names like the bouncers, the rats, stingers, skinners, flayers, bleeders. Blood tubs, pluckers, garroters, hyenas, death fetchers, <laughs> dock street philosophers. Um, and one of the most notorious gangs was the killers. Oh, yeah, that, that's straight to the point. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, think of something better. <laughs> this is the last Auto time de- you mess with the, the fourth street finger blasters. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, do you hear that? It's Mr. Brightside. It's the killer. Yeah. <laughs> That's, my joke. That's my joke right there. Uh, nice. I was I was expecting when you were going to like old-timey gang names, it'd be like, oh, it's the Cheeky Boys. But then you're just like, the Flayers, the Death Mongers. I'm like, all right, yep. They knew what was scary back then, too, I guess. Oh, that yeah. shit's cool. Tubs are, yeah. yeah, I want to be in the blood tubs. <laughs> I want a tub of blood. <laughs> But they were basic. They would like fight over territory, uh, as you know, the scene in gangs in New York. Right, there's a building on fire, and two fire companies show up and start squabbling over who's supposed to put it out, and they end up just fighting each other, and no one puts it out. Uh, well, this shit, is, this shit still happens in Ukraine. It's great. Really. There will be, like, two rival public transportation companies will just start shooting at each other in the middle of a street block. Awesome. And they're not even, like, hiding behind things while they shoot each other. They're just (laughs) shooting each other. This is late, but blood tubs is what I call my dick. Okay. (laughs) That's it. That's my 